WNCASVILLE, in a perfect world for the Connecticut sun, Kern Miller could have snapped his fingers, coaxing the Phoenix Mercury into a cold spell. Or maybe, one of the best players in the history of women's basketball would have forgotten how to score. Both scenarios, of course, would have made life far too easy. After all, few teams know better just how cruel and unforgiving the WNBA playoffs can be than the Sun. And they were reminded of that once again. The Sun were unable to overcome their playoff bugaboo Thursday night, falling 96-86 to to the Phoenix Mercury in the second round at Mohegan Sun Arena. We just couldn't disrupt them, said Miller, the Sun head coach. They played through their big three, like they have been. They did what they needed to do. The Sun, the league's best home team during the regular season, simply had no match for the trio consisting of Diana Torres, Brittany Griner and Juana Bonner. They combined for 77 points, making several big plays when it seemed like the Sun were ready to take off. Torres matched Griner with a game-high 27 points. Bonner wasn't far behind them, scoring 23 points and pulling down 18 rebounds. I've never seen anyone with the will to win bigger than Torres's is, said Phoenix head coach Sandy Brondolo, whose team advanced to play the Seattle Storm. She's so critical for our success, and what were her numbers at the end, she scored 27 points. I have no words for Diana right now. The outcome had to have felt all too familiar to the Sun, who watched the commanding 17-point lead evaporate during an 88-83 loss to the Mercury in the playoffs a year ago. It's now been six years since their last postseason win. I've seen us go through so much behind the scenes and on the court, said Sun guard Jasmine Thomas, who finished with 14 points. This year was special for us in many ways. It just would have been nice to be able to advance tonight because I wanted it that bad. So, too, did Torres, who improved to 35-1 to in single elimination games dabbing to her time at Yukon. A lot of it is luck said Torres when asked to explain that remarkable record. A lot of it is great teammates. You don't do it alone in this sport. You always have to rely on your teammates, your coaches. There are moments where it's really up to you if you want to keep playing. Do you want to come back tomorrow and go to Seattle and play the best team in the league? There was a moment there where we could have easily said, we're good. We had good moments this season. Let's go back to Phoenix and get ready for USA basketball. The 6-foot-9 Griner was especially impactful on the defensive end down the stretch, swatting away Courtney Williams' layup with 153 remaining to preserve an 88-86 lead. The Mercury, who beat the Sun twice in three tries during the regular season, closed the game on a 15-2 run. Williams led the Sun with 27 points. She connected on a four-point play with 419 remaining, putting the Sun up 82-81, then followed with a bucket to widen that lead. That lead was short-lived, though, as Stephanie Tall that answered with a game-dying trait with 3.35 remaining. Courtney has ultimate confidence and she can make big plays, Miller said. We lost a couple of heartbreakers this season where we struggled in the last 45 seconds of the game. The team and Courtney understood that she wants the ball in big situations and she made some huge shots again tonight. We may have come up a little bit short but one of the things we learned through the year is that we can play through Courtney Williams down the stretch of game. Torres, who was greeted by a mix of cheers and boos during pre-game introductions from the crowd of 7,858, led all players with 15 points in the first half. The Sun led 44-40 at half.